So this is the MBOT Ranger by MakeBlock. It's a super fun educational coding toy, STEM toy for kids. This one is meant for kids age 10 plus and it can help teach your kids coding basics as well as basic robotics. MakeBlock was able to send this to me last week. And so of course, uh, myself and my 10 year old son got to work on building it. I started off just letting my 10 year old son uh, try to build it himself. He did get stuck after the first few steps. He's not really experienced with like even using a screwdriver, uh, nuts and bolts. So he needed a little bit of help, but we got through it and it was a fun process to actually build this robot. It probably took us about 45 minutes. The product feels really sturdy. Some of the other coding robots out there on the market feel flimsy. This one feels really sturdy. It's definitely um, not gonna break. Uh, you know, if it hits a wall or something like that. Um, it was very straightforward, the instructions. The only thing is this track does seem a little bit loose, but it does seem, still seem to function okay despite that. It requires batteries, so it does require AA batteries, so it's not USB rechargeable, which I think is a bit of a negative. Um, it does require batteries for use. But then I turn it on and I'm ready to get started with this robot. So I'm going to show you two ways to have fun with this robot. Uh, so there's two apps that you're going to want to download with this robot. The first is the Make Block app right here. Okay, so with the Make Block app, and then you're going to want to press this button up here to connect your MBOT Ranger, which I've already done. And then in here, you have a few different things. You have the build instructions, you have a button to press code, which will take you to another app, and then you have the play section. So I'm just going to show you the play section. So there's different things that you can do. There's a drive app where you can move your robot around. So I'll just show you that. So this is just kind of using it like a remote control car, right? So the drive app um, is essentially just like a remote control car. Then uh, there's a draw where you can actually draw a line and then it will follow that line. And then there's this musician part where you can press the keys and your robot will make the sounds. You can get it to play happy birthday, which is cool. Um, you can get it to follow a line and um, avoid obstacles, so like walls or obstacles that you put in front. And then for the different build, there's also the racing car and the nervous build feature. So this is just fun. It doesn't necessarily teach coding, but it allows children to play with the robot that they just built, and that's a lot of fun for kids. Then let's go to the code section. So the code is going to bring us to a different app, and this is actually just to show you the M Block Blockly, Blockly app. And so I'll go here and then it's going to ask me to connect my robot again because I hadn't, I had to disconnect it when I use the other app. So you just hold your device close to the robot and then it will connect. You can see it connected, moved around a bit. So I just want to show you an easy way to get started with the coding part. Um, there actually is, if we go back here, there's like levels in this app that will teach kids how to use the different functions. So you can go through and you can learn about sequence, sound and light, loops, ultrasonic features, following. All this is in the app and it's like levels that kids have to complete. Or you can press the create button here just to do your own thing with this blockly coding blocks. So this is where kids can learn the basics of an algorithm and how to use block-based coding. So what I've set up here is just some carpet tile um, kind of Velcro pads. So I find these are really good for coding. You could also just use paper or other markers, but essentially it kind of set it up like a grid. And so the challenge would be to tell your kids or students, can you get your MBOT Ranger to go to the red circle? And again, you might want to spread them out a little bit more. I'm just trying to show you on the video so they're close. Uh, but essentially you want your kids to be able to program your robot to move towards your uh, block. So I've got my robot moving forward for a second and then turning left for a second and then moving forward and then turning right and then moving forward again. So let's just see how that algorithm goes. Okay. 
very good. So I made it to the red dot there, which was my goal. Um, and so my algorithm worked. If it didn't work, I would have to go back and debug my algorithm, which is a coding term for fixing your mistakes. Overall, really happy with the Mbot Ranger. I think it's a great toy for that 10 plus crowd. Got a lot of really nice features and would make a great addition to your STEM household or STEM classroom or STEM club. A lot of fun things to do with this robot.